since our business is built on referrals and we go to almost any links to make sure that every customer is completely satisfied, clients come to us. When they call our reference list and speak to our clients, they typically don't just say, oh yeah, we've done a good job. They really promote us and they really say, you know, these are the guys you need to use. We didn't have any worries and, and all the work was first class and, uh, and, and we still come back and work for them. So many of our clients, we build their homes or remodel their homes and then we help them maintain their homes through the years with our repair and maintenance division. So we have many, many repeat clients. And by doing that, it allows us to prove ourselves to them over and over again and really establish a relationship with them. You go to Miss Smith's house and you're gonna put crown molding up. Well, Miss Smith really doesn't know anything about how crown molding should be done. But Miss Smith does notice if you're neat and clean and your appearance is good, if you protect the environment you're working in, how neat your truck is kept. And if she sees those things, her mind is put at ease. She is much more at ease about allowing us to work in her home, unencumbered by her having to be there or feeling uneasy about strangers being in the home. And so that's, that's been really helpful. One thing I noticed when we started posting rules on the job site and, and having a bulletin board with these rules posted and things, um, every tradesman that walks in there comes into a clean job site, sees the organization, and it raises their level. In fact, many of them have commented that, that guy, you, know, you guys have helped us, by setting an example, raise the level of professionalism within our organization. By being organized and serving the client, we also have to be organized and serve the people that are working under us with clear direction, getting the materials they need on time and correctly ordered and things of that nature because I want them to be successful as well. And to get, that'll help them to do a much better job for us to get it done on time and on budget and keep the client enthused. I faced a really difficult transition when I went from being the man that supervised every project that was going on to being able to delegate that role to other project managers. It allowed me to look at the big picture and we developed procedure lists for every different phase of the construction project. We have about 23 different procedure lists and these lists are an evolving tool. So we documented what it was we do when we set up these different tradesmen, and then when we find something that bites us on one job or we feel we could have done it better, we add it to the list. So the list really are a living document that evolves and grows with our business. I think our previous projects sell our, sell our services. Um, our reputation and our previous clients sell our services. So we have clients, I had an appointment just the other day and we had done some work for them in the past, but we did a very large remodel for their neighbors. And I brought my marketing materials to this appointment and, and after we had wrapped up, I was gonna leave him with our materials. He goes, look, save your materials. He goes, you know, we've worked with you guys. You did a great job with the Rhines across the street. They enthusiastically, enthusiastically recommended you. And uh, if we're gonna do this job, we're gonna be doing it with you guys. And so that just felt great.